Gemini, hello, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we're gonna pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, you've got to check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Gemini, the universe has a message for you. And they're telling you to chill out, beautiful soul, because you're on your way and you got nothing to worry about. Remember, everything is always happening for you. So whatever situation you find yourself in right now, it's not meant to take you out. It's meant for you to see the polarity. Polarity and contrast in our life is the indicator that what we are choosing to do and focus on, there is an unaligned energy there from where we're actually looking to go. Okay. So what the, uh, okay. This is energy, right? And when you have focused on what you want, say this is what you want and say this is where you are. When you focus on what you want and you feel that feeling of like satisfaction, the, the perfect family, the house, the relationship, whatever it is, right? And you're like, yeah, I really want that. It feels good. Like, like I'm talking, it feels like a hell yes. It's not like, oh, I really want these things because conditioning has told me I should have these things. None of that. It's that you really want it. It feels good. You're like, oh, hell yes. That's what I'm looking for in my life. Yes, that's me. That's what we're looking for. So feel out what that feeling is. And then in your today, what you do is you feel out every time you make a choice and does it feel aligned with where you're going? You see, that's alignment. Then when you make a decision in your today, you know if it's the right choice that's going to lead you to where you want to go because it's that hell yes choice in your today, right? So, and then the universe will give you signs and guidance along the way. You'll see videos of like, what millionaires do in their morning, right? And you'll be like, what? Why would I watch this? But you are compelled to click on it. And every time you click on it, you keep seeing, wake up early, wake up early, wake up early. And you're like, oh, I know I gotta wake up early. Don't deny yourself, do that thing because that thing is gonna be what aligns you with your abundance, you see. So every time we get that guidance from the universe, that synchronicity, we know, ah, it's because I know I wanna get here. And in order to get here, I gotta make this ch that choice here. But anytime we choose to do something that doesn't align with what we want, it feels unaligned. Hence, then we're, we feel alone because we're like, oh my gosh, I'm not connected to the abundance that's here for me. And we feel that feeling. And then we do all these weird actions, these all these crazy reactive actions because we're in this fear disconnected state. All you got to do is realign with what you want. That's it. And we're, what we can see here, first of all, is that you are headed towards building a community of some kind or re, being reintroduced or united with some soul family, okay, with soul family. Now, before we dive any further, um, let's dive into the message of the universe. So the mes universe's message for you today, write this down in the comments below to let the universe know that you are listening and you have heard and you are receptive. I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. Write this down in the comments below to let universe know you're receptive. I am a powerful creator. That, in fact, you are a beautiful soul. So when you're in your day-to-day, because -day, we feel like right now things are feeling a little bit like topsy-turvy. We have ground yourself and watch a movie, which is kind of the signs, again, of chill out, relax, everything's working out for you. You just got to get yourself grounded in what, you, what your knowing is today. What choices do you have to make today that are going to get you to where you want to go? Uh, community, success, abundance, happiness, all the things we want to have, right? So we want to remind, so we, here's a fun game you could also play. What, in 10 years, what would your 10 year self look like, right? Ideally, your ideal in, dec in a decade, what would that look like? And that just might simplify your decisions of your today. Because I asked this question to myself the other day. Here I am, you know, figuring out what energetically feels best to put into my body to feel the most clear and to feel the most detox. And it hit me when I'm like, well, I know that in 10 years time, I'm going to be making green juice every morning and drinking green juice. When I say green juice, I'm talking the easy stuff, celery, cucumber, ginger, zucchini, uh, and a little jalapeno. That's my green juice. That's hydrating and it's easy. And so I'm all about the easy. So 
that's what I, that's, that's what I know I'll be doing. I know I'm going to be hydrating with juice all day. And most likely I will either have a cooked meal of vegetables or I will make a raw meal of some kind. Most likely it'll be raw. I'll be honest with you, right? Like I'm, I'm a raw girl. So at the end of the day, um, I know that that's where my life is going to go. So it le left my decision in today so much easier. I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, what do I have access to right now? What's in my control right now? Well, I can control the juice. I can make that right now. I can definitely have juice every single day, all day. In terms of making a raw meal, eh, you know, eh. It's iffy. I sure I could, you know, make a salad and stuff. Not really into a salad. I really want to make the fun stuff, you know, like the burgers and all that fun stuff you can make all raw. I really feel more called to do that. Can't do that right now. So then what's my other option? Well, then I'll make a plate of stir fried vegetables. You know what I mean? But I was able to sum it up as a matter of fact, because I knew where I was going. I knew what I wanted long term. And so when we know what we want in the future long term, then our focus is on that, which then sums up or makes our decisions in the present much easier, you see. So some, a lot of the times we get really emotionally attached to what is. We don't realize that all of our manifestations are coming to fruition as they are for you with that three of wands. But right now with that five of pentacles active, we feel like you may be feeling are my f manifestations coming to fruition? You might be in that low frequency of disappointment or am I doing the right things or is this what I want to do? And here's the deal, right? When you get a grasp on where you want your life, what you want your life to look like, right? Your perfect ideal life. And we would suggest playing in the realms of community, being around like-minded individuals, um, just having, a, having energies around you that um, leave you feel really, leaving feel leave you feeling really good. We feel like you're a coach. So, um, you know, this is only, this is might resonate with some of you, but we feel like you're a coach, uh, for some of you that we're picking up. And so you're going to have this community where you're helping others, you're all helping one another. And it's this beautiful community of soul family, right? So knowing that, and that's where you're going, what choice do you know you have to make in your today that's going to align you with that, right? Then it kind of makes it easier. Then when we kind of want to sign up for that course or do that thing or start that program, it's like not so much pressure because we realize, ah, well, my truth is, is that I'm going there, which means that I need to, I need to conquer this skill and this step and take care of this in my life, right? Our truth comes out. Our truth of what we need to do today comes out because it's aligned with where we're going. That's the only thing you have to really uh, connect yourself to is that alignment. Cause then you have this trust. You have this trust that what you are doing is aligned. That's going to get you all things that you want. If you're going to simplify your life because you're living an on purpose life, right? I know I'm going to eat raw because it gives me the mo absolute most energy. And in order for me to serve as much as I want to serve and do the things I want to do, I want to have the most amount of energy. And I don't, I don't get that from eating cooked foods. I feel dehydrated and really sluggish. And honestly, I wake up like I'm already dead. So it just, I know it doesn't work, but I've been putting that off for a while. Why? Because I have an emotional attachment to food because I focused on it so much in my life that that was my reality, right? Our frequency is what we frequently see. But when I took a, when I let go of thinking about what is, and instead I focused on where I'm going and what I want for my life, it simplified my choices real fast. I was like, oh my God, why am I eating? This doesn't even make sense. Why would someone eat when they could drink liquids and feel incredible, right? So it, it's just, it kind of all summed it up in an almost like duh kind of a way, right? So sometimes we play ourselves by, by playing in the what is realms too much, right? What is happening in your life right now, uh, Jem? is gum that's already been chewed. It, it's, you, you know, remember, you're not the regurgitator of your life. You are the creator of your life. And you're going places, beautiful soul, with that ace of wands. You've got adventure and opportunities, like left, right, and center. Now it's just time for you to align with them, right? So it's like, you gotta align up here, right? Right now, you're focusing on what is, which is down here. You gotta look up, you gotta look more on purpose. What's the bigger picture? What's the bigger picture, right? If I started tarot and I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, all I'm going to do is tarot. I'm going to be a professional tarot reader. I'm going to be so attached to that outcome. Chances are I'm not going to feel inspired. I'm going to be exhausted. I'm going to be let down. But instead, I connected to the feeling of where tarot could take me. So what I did was I went into a meditative state. And I had, and this was always in the morning. That's why we say have a morning with yourself before the mind is really active. 
and just sit with yourself and play in the energy of what's possible. And I knew from what I had so far from my experiences, I felt I wanted to travel around the world on a private jet. I had my dog with me. I had my husband with me and I was uh, talking on stages and I didn't know what I was going to be talking about. Obviously some form of spirit message. I didn't know, but I was connecting to the energy of joy. It made me feel very good, happy, full of joy to feel that, 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 that that energy of doing that. Wow, that would be so fun. That feels really exciting, right? I connected with that. And then when I was in my present day, I wasn't connected so much to like the reads or, or reading the best tarot. I was more connected to having experiences and messages and being able to put my experience and messages on the card itself. So I actually had a feeling behind it. And that that awareness aligned with where I was going. I was aligning myself with where I was going. But anytime I stopped remembering that feeling of where I was going and I was focusing on what is, oh, you know, the views are down. Oh, I, I was feeling off today and I did a, uh, and I wasn't, I wasn't energetically there for the reads. Anytime I focused on what is, that's immediately when my frequency would lower, right? When we get to those lower frequencies and I would be very reactive. I would eat a bunch of food. I would complain. I would be sad. I would want to take a day off. Like that's when all those kind of poverty mindset kind of reactions took place. So we always want you to remember, always live in the, in the future, live in the, with the focus and keep your focus deliberate on where you're going, the purpose of where you're going. So that way your actions of the present align you with that, with that, um, choice and you reclaim your power, you reclaim your power. And then guess what? then you're going to be floating in and spirit always has the bigger picture plan anyway. So it's really just about doing your part in your present and aligning your choices with where you're going. And if you find yourself reactive emotionally, you know, somewhere in there was a focus that wasn't aligning you with where you're going. And that's always the cue. Now your angel message for today again is joy. And they're saying to you, joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level. Because remember, your present day will feel good when you are deliberately making choices that align you with where you're going. But if you don't have any clue about where you want your life to look like in, 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 in 10 years, five years, one year, right? If you're not sure, well, that's going to be a problem because then you're not going to know what choices to make and then things are going to be frightening and fearful. And then we drop into that low frequency and then we focus on poverty things and then we attract poverty into our life, you see. So at the end of the day, do know that you're being guided to a beautiful career that and, and, and time in your life where you're going to be very connected to other individuals. Again, a coach of some kind. Uh, and so stay focused on the fact that in order to be a coach, you have to go through experiences. Experiences can be painful, right? But if we don't go through that pain of the experience, then we would never really truly understand. And so just trust in the process and in, in your day to day, Try to really focus on bringing peace into your life. So grounding yourself, uh, watch the sugar, watch the caffeine, try to cleanse as much as possible because really we receive messages through the physical body. So if we're receiving messages and we can't connect and we're not sure how to read our inner voice, uh, get a little bit of a cleanse going on. You will just love it. You will thrive on it as a matter of fact. It'll become very addicting to cleanse because it just feels so good. And anything that we stored emotionally in the body will be there. So uh, cleansing helps us purge out those toxins, those emotions, and we're just a much more grounded, calm, cool, collected, connected being. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. Beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you want to watch a really good video, check out these videos.